On Monday, Russell Westbrook passed Patrick Ewing to enter top 25 NBA's all-time scoring list. Brody's also only one of three players to be in top 25 in career points and top 10 in assists, joining LeBron and Oscar Robertson. Although he's seen a reduction... That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Who? LeBron who? Exactly. Playing That's fucking crazy. Season, in the wake of the Harden trade, Don't give a fuck who you are. in that role has been an important part of the Clippers' success. We all these two niggas the ain't do it. Famer. I love these two niggas. To average a triple Hoopers. Double multiple seasons. But good, as you look back, it seems like Westbrook always gets a lot of hate from fans and, and, and not to give them any, you know, any attention. But what is Westbrook's legacy as a former player, somebody who's played this league? How do current former players look at Westbrook? Just like he should have been looked at from the beginning, a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Uh, the guy that when you're giving that speech to your, your team on big games or you're trying to get them motivated, go out there and play 110%. Yeah. Right. He he is the example that. That's true. You should be getting. Bro, Russ is my favorite player in the league, bro. And I've been saying this. Anybody who knows me fucking knows this. I stand up for this nigga since he's been with the Lakers, bro. Because I was some bullshit what you did to that nigga, bro. Because you know what it was before he came there, bro. And that's the reason why you went out to go get him. So don't fucking play around with him. Making fun of his name and shit, his legacy, bro. That nigga's hooping right now with the Clippers. Look what he did in the playoffs, nigga, by himself. When Kawhi and Paul George wanted to sit out for whatever reason it was, whatever. You see what he did. It gave us all versus Suns and, and try to lock down every fucking body over there. Russ is going to come out and play hard regardless. He wants to smoke with everybody. Given. And, and that was the whole sad part about Westbrook's legacy, that you let media tell you let you tell you what he was doing with his effort. What he was doing with his effort, it was easily done. And that was the bad part about, like, when you talk about, we can go through history. You tell me how many players played 130% every, every game. single game of their career. It'd be hard to find somebody in front of Russ. There's Damn no, right. We've never looked at a game where Russ was playing and said, yeah, he ain't playing hard today. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not one. one. Not right? one. And that's when, when you paint with Not one. your boss, right? If you're a boss, you're going to write that check every single time. You know every you time. Write, How much you want? Okay. Every time, bro. Because you know it's going to be more good than bad. Uh, the, 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 the turnovers, the missed shots at the wrong time, none of that matters. The, it doesn't. I have a dude that I know, I don't even have to question his work ethic. I don't have to question his, if he's going to come play today. I don't care. If we hear something bad about Russ, I know one thing, when, them, when that light and that jump ball go, 130%. That's one Every thing time. I never have to worry about. And it took that away with these stat chasing mm -hmm. on hustling. <laughs> Crazy. Exactly. Hustling. Yeah, he's stat chasing. Y'all snack chasing. <laughs> Fat fucks. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't even make no sense, but hey, I'm here for it. Click, <laughs> click chasing. Y'all click bait chasing. Yeah, yeah. What? I just don't know, like, out of all the players, why Russ was the one that they decided to just try and destroy like I think it stand back on those OKC days uh, with him and KD and even if you watch the young Russ with KD you know they got the meme of him staring at the MVP trophy and all that type of stuff Russ thought he was on that level now I'm not yeah. gonna say he's a better player than KD obviously but for him to have that confidence to go out and excel average a triple double for multiple years win an MVP like KD did I think it was always kind of a little bit uh I don't know if the media created or whatever, yeah. but I still watch those games. They're trying to, like, put him in this villain light, in this villain role, and but that's just not who he is at all. So, I'm glad. It looked it different. Was... It, it, it didn't look like what KD was doing. It didn't look like what James was doing, but it was just as effective. Mm -hmm. mm. So, yeah, no, nah, just media, man. No, nah, this man has... Yeah, you can't... You, you can't write in... Any sports column and show people effort mm. for what article has been written over time. Mm -hmm. 
You can't write effort. You can't show effort. it. And that's what he is. He, there's no number to effort. Yeah, yeah, there's no number to it. So I watched a clip. Uh, somebody asked Kevin Love about Russ. That's who he is, man. Goes he is. plays hard, cares, all those things. And, and for people to try to change that narrative is... Is beyond my thought process. It's crazy. Um, I'm glad they. I'm glad they speaking on this. Yeah, you you can't line too many people up and say they played harder than Russ throughout the history mm -hmm. of this history. The history might be one that come to mind. It might be Dennis Rodman. Like just far as the flat out mm -hmm. fucking effort, mm -hmm. every possession. And what comes with that is winning. It's a winning, it's a winner's mentality. Mm -hmm. In life. In then life. You, you put that in a, a basketball setting. Come on, man. That's what you get. Mm -hmm. Like and every day. I, every day. I, I've stated this on this show before and I've stated it other places, you know. We'll stand for no Russell Westbrook slander, man. Like, None. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Because I see myself in that. Mm -hmm. like, I play hard. I, like, the people have been, been, I laid my hat on that. How hard I played each and every day. No matter how I felt, no matter what was going on at home, no matter what me and my head coach had going on, no matter the lady, I'm, whatever was going on, I, I hung my hat on, I'm going to fucking play hard. No matter what. And to watch that and be like, yeah, he played fucking hard. Yeah, he played fucking hard. <laughs> Yo. Hard, somebody nigga. Play hard, that mm -hmm. Somebody that play hard. Every time. Somebody that play hard. Let's just look. And welcome back to this U.S. Open office plan. Miller just lobbed a message way over Jones's. And I respect that. Anybody that approached the game that way, man, and you can, I, I'm, I got to college, man. I shot 30% from the free throw line, man. Like, I can teach you to motherfucking shoot and dribble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can teach you to shoot and dribble. Yeah. If you give me that effort, and that's what Hugs told me. You give me that, I can, I can help you with the other part. Mm -hmm. and that's Russ. And, and at the highest level. And, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's that. Nah, he's excellent in my eyes, man. Look, can you talk about snack chasers uh, <laughs> and their view? Ah. Of Why is there such a disconnect in how fans view Westbrook's career versus how current former players like you, you uh, everybody on this couch and how they view Westbrook's career. Because they listen to the media. Mm. Mm. They're not That's true, players. man. Everybody want to listen to the media. Come on, bro. I've been said this, bro. Russ, look at what he does outside of basketball. A lot of you niggas don't even know. Russ is damn near a billionaire almost. Nigga, he's like that. Russ is up there. Why the fuck you think he took the 8 million nigga and don't worry about it, nigga? He's like that outside of basketball, just so you know. Yeah, Russell Westbrook, nigga. Could be a game where, okay, he dribbled down, it's seven seconds on the clock, he kicked the bitch off his foot, trying to go make a play. Mm -hmm. He didn't intentionally drill that bitch down, like, where my right foot? <laughs> Out of bounds. We lose. Okay, yeah. Hey, yeah, let's go party. <laughs> like, no. He come down, he think he has the opportunity to go make a play. Yeah, us as hoopers be like, damn, damn, damn Russ. Yeah. But we not crucifying him for it. Which the media and the, and the people that's listening to the media go crucify him for it. But damn what he's done to put his team in that position mm -hmm. uh -huh. each and every night. To be in the game, to be able to, to make that mistake. To be able to mm. take that what we might deem sometime as an ill-advised shot where he could have kicked it to that guy. Mm -hmm. But he believed in his ability. Uh. So how can you... Oh, granted, yeah, we might... Uh, no, you should But ain't nobody ever fought Gil for believing his ability to score the ball or to go make a play. Didn't nobody crucify this cold for... Like, no, you can't do that because that's, that's what he saw at the moment. But it's... Yeah, it's... At times, it's cringeworthy. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. When yeah. it started, when they pushed the narrative, I was just like, like, okay, if you're shooting, right, if you're shooting too much and trying to get points, you got a ball hog, right? They, they label that as a ball hog. 
if you're searching for a sis, <laughs> that's nothing, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Like, if I'm passing up shots to get a sis, they haven't crucified that yet, you know, because, you know, Magic, you know, Magic getting his, John Stockton, Steve Nash, right? They, they could do that, right? You get the, you get the coaching, if you want to patch your win stats, there's nothing against that. Then this weird one where rebounding came in. They never done it with Bill Russell. They never done it with, you know, anybody who was, because it's an effort, right? And then all of a sudden, a guard goes in, and he's purposely rebounding, which the first thing I say, get the rebound, right? He's one of my players. Get the rebound. Don't let that fucking ball hit the floor. And the fact that I got a player that's doing it, I'm going to now say, oh, he's stat chasing. He's stat chasing? I want, I don't give a fuck who it is. I got five players with the same uniform on. The what first one to get, get it before back? the other fucking team, good. You good? Right? <laughs> I hope my center wants to get 20 fucking rebounds, right? I want, I would love for the power forward to do it, but obviously my guard is getting to it first. I should give him a raise for that. Yeah. yeah. Right? If, if Kenyon was out there getting 50 rebounds a game, nobody would say shit. Absolutely. But if Jason Key going out, oh, that's that, that, that chasing. No, no. <laughs> what, what it is is they don't have no offer. We ain't gave them no fucking offers rebounds. That's what we that's what we didn't do. We call that a fast break. <laughs> yeah, like, my point guard getting the rebound. We call that a fast but break. But that's what I'm saying. You made you made the 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 uh fans made fans, right? The fans with a pen, made fans with a TV think that this was just some easy shit to do. Mm -hmm. And to put this in real context and perspective, right? Each and every game, how many possessions is there? 80, 80 90, you get a good night, right? Mm -hmm. Team shooting, team percentages. 40. 40s, right? They're making 40% of the shots. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's another 60% of the motherfuckers that hit the rim that don't go in. Mm -hmm. So he gets 10 of them. 10! <laughs> so he's, he chased 10. Mm -hmm. Nine and a half, 9.9, <laughs> 9.8. So where the rest of the fucking ball is going? Exactly. So the other guys ain't stat chasing that's rebounding the ball, that's going after the ball? Like, shut the fuck up. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. Talking before. that shit. Like, like, it's the, like, that's... Hey, that's some real shit right there. Whole another 50% out there. Where is that? I, I just, I, when, I, when I heard it, man, it just, it just sounded... Even with someone like Kendrick Perkins, when you said it against Joker, it's just a dumb... It's dumb. I, I, I'm, I'm making... Pa so, I'm... Pa like for a Joker, it would be I'm more. Making plays I'm, to win. I'm, I'm passing the ball to open guys too much. Like what the fuck is the like? <laughs> as my I'm steal still, guy is getting too many steals. Like as I'm still scoring the hell out of the ball and rebounding, but now yeah, I'm overpassing. Steal guys my my, my, blo oh, my shot block is blocking too many shots at the rim. Let me like. But fuck up. Like, <laughs> now if you did a stat where my shot blocker's giving up offensive rebounds because he's trying to block shots, maybe, yeah. Or my steal guy trying to get too many steals no. and he's giving up points, yeah. But fucking rebounds? <laughs> the fuck is he giving up? Yeah, mm? exactly. Uh, what, what is... What, what defensive rebounds. True. Defensive right. rebounds. Like, not offensive rebounds. Defensive rebounds. Only benefits. Hey, to go play. ask any coach. Any fucking basketball coach about rebounding, mm -hmm. how important it is. Yeah. I guarantee that motherfucker, that, that bitch is like 1A, 1B. Yeah. Damn, this week, damn the, point, the points is like fucking four or five on a coach's it's list of, of fucking everything. Right? Rebound. 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 They break that shit biggest <laughs> shit on the board. <laughs> Let y'all come out, y'all get out rebound. They got that shit plastered on that bitch. My bad. Plastic on that bitch. Like, ah. <coughs> but he's that chasing when he goes out and he does it as his position? Like, like defensive okay. rebound. That's what There's like that. zero. Yeah. There is zero negative thing going zero. after a defensive board. <laughs> but that's zero. And if All he's boards, getting it. Yes. And then back to my point. But 
Mm -hmm. About it's called a fa we call it a fast break. He is the most athletic and fastest guy on the floor at any given time. Mm -hmm. Any given time. So why wouldn't I want him getting the ball first? Right. We love when J Kid got the I rebound. Did. I hated when he got the ball first. We fucking <laughs> Me? dude. Yeah. J Kid, man, it is dog. We are running so fast because we got the opportunity to go get a dunk or re. A, a layup or something. Or Kerry gonna get a wide open fucking three. Mm -hmm. Russ pushing that bitch, he's making plays. At the rim for his teammates. Nice. You know, I just love sitting here sometimes and hearing y'all talk. Kenny, as you said, the snack checkers out there, they can really cloud your vision and cloud your mind. Yeah, because they're pro. They they they, 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 and that's what oh. it is. They do not understand what they're looking at. They're looking at a stat sheet. Just like Googlers. <laughs> you don't know what you're Googling. Right? If I say something, you're Googling chapter one, and I'm on chapter fucking ten. Right? You, you, you thought I was talking about the last eight years, and I'm talking about fucking 40 years. Some real shit. That means all the, the with, with Patrick Ewing teams and the Melo teams, you go back in history. Yeah. That's where top three comes from. Not your little goofy motherfuckers on Twitter thinking top 17. Right? Worry about your credentials that you got to get every day. How do I know that? Every day you gotta go to there to game day and sign up. I know that. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know it's true. God damn it! I do it. all my study. God damn it! You're the only <laughs> team in the league that do that shit. Gil, you are the Cat Williams <laughs> of sports <laughs> media basketball. Like, yeah, y'all yo, stay, stay, stay the fuck away from me with this googly shit. Y'all know, like, I don't know what Google package you got, but I can get. Look, man, what he's saying right there is facts, man. What they speaking about, Russ, bro? That's a hundred percent. Um, the truth to me in my eyes, bro, the way I see it, and I, I always got Russ's back, bro. There's so much slander and shit, man, with the media. Y'all just so stupid. I want to look at who scores the points. Well, who, who takes all the shots? Who's creating plays? Who's plus minus? Who's hustling? Who's making an impact for these plays to even happen for these people to score? I'll catch you on the next one, bro.